In this video I'll be showing you how to test PlayStation 4 controllers. Um, these are the three applications we'll be using. Uh, DS4 Windows, Gamepad Tester Application, PlayStation 4 Console. Uh, I've already given the link in the description uh, how to download DS4 Windows. So simply click on the link, download it. Once downloaded, uh, you will see this file. Uh, simply right click and extract here. Once extracted, go into DS4 Windows. Um, these are all the required uh, .NET Framework files uh, to be installed in order for DS4 Windows to work. So simply just install all of these. Uh, next, um, you go into the DS4 Windows and run this. So this is the DS4 Windows screen. I'll get to it in a minute. Um, I wanted to show you a 100% working controller and the values of a 100% working controller so you that know what to expect um, uh, from a 100% working controller. Plug it in with the USB cable. Then go to hardwaretester.com slash gamepad and you'll see your controller connected here uh, switch the tab to player number two so that's our values for this controller and um, there's another very nice visual representation which is gamepad tester.net Th this one is um, it's not that nice it, this is much nicer as I press the button I can see it here uh, so this is a much nicer representation of the buttons on the screen um, fire up uh, DS4 Windows and this is the screen you'll get uh, the only functionality we will be testing uh, from the DS4 Windows is just the vibrator functionality and the battery levels battery level is written here if it says zero you need to charge it and then check if the battery level drops or not uh, if it's dropped uh, you need to replace it with the new battery or you have to uh, uh, check the power circuit uh, to check the vibrators uh, we'll be using this so simply click on the heavy vibrator yep that works click on the right vibrator that works but it's rattling a little so not much you can do you have to replace it with another uh, vibrator uh, there's a bunch of other functionality that you can test it on the um, on the DS4 Windows. Uh, you can check the light bar functionality, all this, um, whether or not the light bar is uh, working. Uh, you can check the inner and outer dead zones here as well. But uh, for time being, uh, we won't be using this, so we only need DS4 Windows to check the vibration. You can also check the vibration here. Just click on it and you'll see the vibrator um, it, it does vibrate but um, with DS4 windows you can check individually both the vibrators okay next we'll be going through all the values on this window so this is the values of 100% working controller so step by step let's go through the, go through these from B0 to B3 is your action buttons so I'm just gonna press these buttons a few times and see if it skips whether or not it works so X works circle works triangle works square works next is I'm gonna check the L1 R1 so L1 works R1 works L2 works R2 works now the L2 and R2 are the trigger values they must go from 0 to 1 0 to 100 percent so yep and it must go smoothly so that's 100 um, percent working the next is options and share buttons so share button works options button work B10 and B11 is your L3, R3 clicks. So B10, it must be a nice click noise. So L3 click works, R3 click works. Uh, next is your D-pad button. So D-pad up works, D-pad down works, D-pad left works, D-pad right works. Last but not least is your PS button. PS button works and touchpad click works and uh, once you have installed the DS4 windows your touchpad function of the your mouse is taken over as well so touchpad sensor works as well so touchpad touch works so that works uh, next these are the values of your left joystick and the right joysticks 
the Sony acceptable values of inner dead zone and outer dead zone is inner dead zone 10% must be below 10% and the outer dead zone values are 96% uh, and above. So you can see that this is 0 0.06 which is 6% and 0 0.04 uh, which is 4% so that's below 10% so the inner dead zone is 100% okay the outer dead zone is yep that's one uh, so that is okay that's one that's okay one one 96% uh, and above so that is a perfectly okay left joystick let's just check the values of the right joystick so the inner just do a bit of a anti-clockwise and clockwise spins just to see if it's still yep okay so this one is 0 0.01 that's one percent that's zero percent um, the inner dead zone is below 10 percent so this is perfectly good uh, let's just check the outer values so one 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 so the outer dead zone values 96 percent above so this is 100 percent okay so that's the values check the uh, the test circularity button here um, so click on this the acceptable values are 18 percent or below so let's go through that so you need to spin your joysticks very slowly uh, to see so go through it slowly that's 10 percent uh, that's 8.7 percent that's very good that's 7.7 percent that's below um, 18 percent so this is 100 percent okay so that's the values what to expect of a 100% working controller. Next, uh, we'll be checking our controller on the PS4 system. So let's just check the USB connection first. Uh, plug in your USB cable and see if it accepts the connection via the USB. So that flashing means yeah, the battery has charged and it works with the USB. Press on the PS button. Um, that works unplug it so this means the Bluetooth connection works next is um, we'll be checking our touchpad uh, so go to your browser uh, go here um, let's just check the touchpad click touchpad click works uh, move your touchpad sensor so the touchpad sensor works this is how you do the touchpad activation via the L3 R3 clicks so press L3 R3 and now you can move your touchpad by moving your controller so that works press and hold the PS button uh, check speaker speaker works speaker volume works you can check the LED bar functionality here as well um, turn it off that's all um, this is another controller uh, the problem is L3 skips and the touchpad uh, sensor not work so let's just see the touchpad sensor yep that's it that's correct it doesn't work and l3 yep it skips as you can see that it randomly i'm doing a very hard press now then it works if i do a yep it skips uh, let's just check the other functionality as well x works circle works square works triangle works l1 is okay r1 is okay R2. So this is R2, uh, sorry, L2 values are not going smoothly to 1. Um, this could be the physical button issue, the case issue, the spring issue, or the mid frame issue. So we have to open it up, analyze it. R2 is okay. It does go to 1, but with a very hard press. Shear works, option is okay. L3 is, we already know that, that skips. R3 is perfectly good. D-pad up, down, left, and right. That works. PS button works. Touchpad click works. Let's just check our L and R joysticks. Uh, these are the values of uh, Sony acceptable dead zone. So the inner dead zone must be 10% uh, or below, and the outer dead zone 96% and above. So as you can see, the inner dead zone, uh, this is 0 0.02, that's 2%, and this is 1%. So that's 100% okay. Uh, the outer dead zone, 1, 1, 1, 1, 96% and above. So that's perfectly good. Let's just check the jitter or shakiness Let's see to see if their potentiometer values are okay. That is very good. Uh, let's just check our R stick. 
So the inner dead zone values, yep, that's below 10%. This is 5%. 0 0.05, that's 5%. That's 2%. That's perfectly good. Outer dead zone values, so 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's perfectly okay. Let's just check the jitter. There's no jitter. That's perfectly okay. Um, you can check the circularity. This is, um, you need to spin the joysticks very slowly. Uh, the acceptable range is 18% or below. So spin your joysticks uh, slowly. Yep, that is okay. Yep, that is okay. So it's below 18%. That's perfectly normal. Next, I am going to show you a controller which has a right stick mechanical issue. So the controller has been dropped. Um, so the right stick has a mechanical issue. So let's just connect it and see what's going on here. So plug it in and switch to this tab. Um, let's go through the values one more time. X works, circle works, square works, triangle works, L1 works, R1 works, R2 goes 0 to 1, 0 to 1, that works, share button works, options work, L3 click is okay, R3 click is okay, D-pad up, down, left, right, that is okay, PS button works, touchpad click works and touchpad touch sensor works as well. Uh, let's just check the values of the joysticks. So the left stick, let's just check the inner dead zone, that's 0%, so that's very good. So that works. So it's below 0, so check the values of the outer dead zone, 1, 1, 1, 1, so that's 96% and above. Uh, check the jitter shakiness if it's jitters no, it doesn't so that's perfectly okay so right stick as you can see that it says a mechanical issue uh, we have to replace the right joystick uh, just the mechanical part with a brand new one here's an example of ps4 controller with the l3 no input so i'm just gonna press l3 and there is no input just to quickly show you the r3 uh, b11 value that's 100 percent okay uh, B10, L3, I'm pressing it, there is no input. In order to fix it, uh, we'll be replacing it with the brand new joystick. In this video, I'll be showing you a PS4 controller uh, with left and right joystick issues. So, just to quickly show you, this is what happens. Um, so, the left stick has a major jump, which means the left stick requires potentiometer replacement. Uh, let's check the right stick. Um, yeah, right stick has a major jump as well, so both requires a potentiometer replacement. Uh, we have a PlayStation 4 controller um, with a broken headphone jack port, so this is what happens. So just to quickly show you, PS4 controller with a broken headphone jack port. Not much you can do, we'll be desoldering this one and solder a new one. In this video I'll be showing you a PS4 controller uh, with the R3 no input. Um, let's connect your controller, fire up hardwaretester.com slash gamepad um, and let's check it out. All right, let's just check the uh, L3 input first um, and see if it all works. I'm gonna press L3 a few times and see if it all works. There has to be a smooth press. Yep, L3 100% works. Let's just check R3 now. There is no input. I'm pressing the R3, there is no input. So here is an example of another PS4 controller um, with L3 no input and L stick jitters as well. So I'm gonna just press L3 there is no input. So the value we are looking at B10, there is no input. Uh, just to check R3, B11, uh, R300% works. L3, I'm pressing L3, there is no input. Let's just check the jitters. I'm just going to spin the joystick slowly. Spin the left joystick 
uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise so yep it's per inch of tree yep it jitters here and it, yeah it jitters there as well so yep it does jitters in order to fix it uh, we have to replace the potentiometer and the mechanical joystick as well 